Now, what in the carnival is going on here? So we have a passenger that claims that some of the most disgusting creatures to ever roam the earth were in their room. Unfortunately, I am talking about cockroaches on an older carnival ship. And you know what's interesting about this topic when I bring it up? Because I do believe this comes up maybe once or twice a year, not much. However, when it does, there are always nothing but extremes on both ends never an in between it's either the carnival people the very important fun people the carnival loyalists out there on their end that are sticking up for carnival and defending them and making all kinds of excuses or well it's probably factual that maybe the people that are on board brought those little friends with them that is a very real possibility but they don't look at it on the other end and think that maybe they could have been left there from the prior cruise or maybe that is just a bad room somebody made a mistake and didn't clean the room properly left a, a cookie or something in there and just like that you have an infestation whereas on the other end of course you're going to see all the loyal to royals the the lat people the, the ncl people I, we really need to find a name for the ncl people they need something cool but all the other people with other lines competing lines that are going to say the usual this is why i don't sail with carnival walmart of the seas the spirit airlines of the seas yada 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 it gets very annoying the vessel that this creepy crawly conundrum this situation allegedly took place on is known as the carnival sunshine this is a seasoned cruise ship initially launched in the year 1995 didn't make its first sailing or maiden voyage until 1996 cost 409 million dollars to build holds just over 3,000 passengers and well at one point in time this ship was considered to be one of the largest cruise ships in the entire world back in the 90s this was a recurring theme with carnival when it came to its destiny class and its fantasy class until royal caribbean bust out the freedom class well carnival was running the game with the world's largest cruise ships one thing i have noticed about this sunshine class it was formerly known as the destiny class altogether but that class in particular well, they have had a little bit of trouble over the years. Many of you have heard of the Carnival Sunrise. Now, the Carnival Sunshine initially was called the Carnival Destiny until it had a refit and refurbishment back in 2013. Meanwhile, the Carnival Sunrise, it had a situation known as the Poop Cruise or the Cruise from Hell in which they had all of the electrical systems and plumbing stop working and then people had to put poop in bags. But we're not here to talk about that. Maybe another time. But when it came to the Carnival Sunshine, after it had its name change over to to the Carnival Sunshine from the Carnival Destiny. Well, it did have a situation earlier this year in which there was a storm on board and well, the ship allegedly sailed into a storm and it was flooding all over the place and whatnot. And there were a lot of complaints and a lot of people were saying that a lot of the stuff was like, like rotting and whatnot. It was just a bad situation altogether. And now we have the situation here where a lot of people are saying that it could be a potential byproduct of the storm and the water and all the nasty stuff that got in. And then somebody as well bringing in some little friends by that of course i mean the cockroaches and now we have this conundrum where we have now where it may be we're looking at i don't know i'm going to assume german cockroaches that seems to be the most common ones that typically as people say if you see one of those there is probably many this story does come from a facebook group in which a guest said they were on the carnival sunshine and they noticed cockroaches in their room when they went to guest services the staff on board the carnival sunshine refused to move the guest and they just came in there and sprayed and according to the passengers allegedly the spray did nothing the roaches still continued to thrive they said they allegedly went over to the counter these customer service desk four times and nothing was done i'm gonna tell you right now i'm a very easygoing man if that's true if that is true. I'd be raising all kinds of sand. Ain't no way I'm going to be dealing with a bunch of cockroaches when I paid for my vacation. Before I continue, I do believe I have to point out that I do love cruising and I don't think that this isolated situation is a representation of the entire cruise ship industry as a whole. Because even prior to the COVID era, we don't talk about that, COVID was a horrible time. But even prior to those days, the ships were cleaned regularly. They were maintained regularly. On most ships, yeah, there were a couple anomalies here and there that were not maintained very well but in between that and i would argue even with carnival's older ships because carnival does have some of the oldest ships especially when you look at the size of their entire fleet those ships overall are pretty well maintained however when you get seasoned cruise ships naturally you're going to have problems there may be an electrical problem here or there ac problem here or there as they say from time to time sometimes you do get what you paid for if the roaches are there and they have been there prior to let's say the particular past 
passengers that are making this post were, yeah, that is definitely a problem and it should be investigated and looked into. And of course, the guests should receive more than just roach repellent spray inside of the room or whatever whatever it is that they're using to get rid of the roaches i think those passengers if this is true once again they should have been moved to another room i think honestly they should have got to a point where they should have got some future cruise credit because let's say they didn't bring on the roaches if the roaches start crawling into their stuff and they take that back home now you're risking a potential infestation over in somebody else's home and it's, it's not good. It's disgusting. Now, like I said, this does unfortunately tend to lean on one extreme or the other. And the reality is there is no true way with these types of situations to pinpoint exactly what happened. Did a passenger bring the roaches on board? More than likely. Was it the current ones that are talking about the situation? Who knows? Was it passengers from a previous cruise that put them in there? And then because the room stewards didn't do a proper cleaning and they don't check all of, let's say, maybe behind the couches and in the crevices and all the nooks and crannies to clean properly at least maybe once or twice a month do like a real deep dive could that also be a problem especially considering the age of this ship yeah maybe the positive thing here is that even in this digital world now where everything is seemingly post online we haven't heard much of this happening and when it does yes it is the potential of it being an older ship as you could imagine you're not going to see a wonder of the seas the carnival celebration or the norwegian viva having cockroaches on board that would be absolutely crazy and well, obviously, that'd be a whole nother conversation to have. But of course, guys, we are going to leave it right here. There's not much to say here. Like I said, I do believe this is an isolated situation, and hopefully we don't hear about this again. But of course, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. You carnival people and you loyal to royals, however, you guys keep it civil in there. None of that, none of that Walmart of the Seas talk and Spirit Airlines talk and all that other jargon you guys are saying. It doesn't make any sense. Everybody just calm down. We all like cruising. We all like traveling. And let's just keep this harmoniously. Let's shed some light on some positive things around here. How was everybody's day? Day. Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys. I love all of you and I'll see you later. Take it easy.